Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves series. A challenge in The Sims 4 based on the Ultimate Decades Challenge and the History Challenge. The links to those rules will be in the description below as well as a link to the rules for this series and a playlist for the entire show. So I will warn you that this series does contain death rolls, just like in the History Challenge, and this is including pregnancies, infants, babies, and toddlers. So if you don't want to watch something like that, then don't watch the show as it might be triggering. So we're rejoining the Snow family, and they're having to go through winter. I have made some adjustments to the calculations, so hopefully we might have more people survive this winter. And we do have an alpha in this particular family. So Xavier Snow did become the alpha of the wild things. And since that affects his ability to survive, what I'm going to do is just manually pass off the pack leadership to his wife who is pregnant. And that will make sure that her chances are the highest possible. And also her pregnancy will have the highest possible chance for survival. So he has passed on the leadership to her and hopefully she will survive we just need to work on her fitness a little bit because her fitness is level two all right you can go eat something and i think you also need to pee and we need to push the limits for one hour while energized can we get energized i'm not sure and we also have little Jared down here. He is a toddler, but he is also a greater wolf blood. So Jared probably stands a good chance of living through the winter, I hope. So I don't like to lose all of the kids. And we only have Jared and then Cassidy is pregnant. So we have to get a couple of survivals, hopefully. Now, the next thing she needs to do is turn Sims into werewolves. And that's actually difficult because I have to find someone who's not already an occult. And this world is filled with other occults. Okay, at least she does have the curse bearer ability. So she might be able to do that. Actually, maybe we should help out Jared with his potty. Because if I can get her parenting skill up, that also increases the chances of both her survival and the baby's survival. Okay, so he is actually energized now. That's good. Okay, Cassidy has gone into labor. Okay, how many babies are we going to have? It's a girl. Now I have my list from last time. We're going to go with Luna. And another girl. For this one, we'll choose Chloe. Okay, two girls, that was it. And as it goes in this series, we will immediately try to have some more babies because this is winter. I do not have high hopes for pregnancy surviving. Oh, she's very angry. Oh, Cassidy and Xavier are going to be difficult. Oh, that's unfortunate. And now they're unpredictable as far as a romance dynamic. Well, this is going to be annoying. Okay, why is she unpleasant and why is she very angry? The tent in the hot springs is giving me trouble. So thankfully, this new blanket from the romance pack kind of looks like a skin rug. It's a little bit too finished, but at least it's kind of there. I guess it could be prehistoric and it's actually going to work. I think the tent was not working. Okay. That's better. Oh, Cassidy is on flirty and Xavier is romantic. No wonder they're having such a hard time getting along. Okay. Cassidy is going to be neat. That's a good trait. No, don't use your diaper. Oh, come on. I was just about to make you use the potty. Okay, we're done with the boxing because he actually doesn't like fitness. I can only use rock climbing. I completely forgot about that and was wondering why he would not keep boxing. All right, now we have to try jogging in freezing weather. Hopefully this works. 
I have to keep an eye on him because I know what's going to happen. He's going to freeze and I'm going to need to stop jogging and change. Oh, it's the baby's birthday already. Well, that's good. Well, I say that and then I remember what comes after newborns. Infants. Happy birthday, Luna. I also completely forgot I need to be transformed. Okay, she's going to be sunny. And we're going to pee right next to where the baby aged up. Great. And Chloe aged up and she's also sunny. So this is where we get our traits. Oh no, Luna. She's a dormant wolf. That's unfortunate. And Chloe is a greater wolf blood. Okay, well, we know who will be living through the winter if we get any accidents. Probably not Luna. Okay, as you know, with infants, we have to try to make sure that they can sit in the high chair, which means they need to sit up. Okay, we had Chloe lift her head. And now we can go back inside. Well, Cassidy is pregnant. Okay, well, we did find the male person. So that's one person we can turn into a werewolf. I'm not sure if rock climbing counts as exercising. Okay, now Luna can lift her head. And she's reaching another milestone. Oh, laughing. Okay. Oh, rock climbing does count. Okay, we'll just continue climbing. Oh no, we have our first earthquake. Well, it's the middle of the week. We made it halfway. Okay, and for our first death roll, we have Xavier, Cassidy, Cassidy's pregnancy, Jared Snow, Luna Snow, and Chloe Snow. So here we go. And we lost a few people. Okay, so Cassidy survived and her pregnancy did not and then jared survived so we got the toddler but both of the infants did not survive they got really low scores okay so i think that probably made it so that it didn't matter what their stats were i think just about anyone would have died with a one certainly and maybe a 17. so these scores are between zero and 100 and of course the male always gets the top score. I don't know why. I mean, sometimes they, the males die. But in my experience in this series, for some reason, the females keep dying first. So that's why I gave the alpha wolf to Cassidy. And it's a good thing that I did because I'm pretty sure a 57 would have killed her if she was not the alpha. So... We have to clear the pregnancy and we lose both of the infants, but we do get to keep our original Sims that we had in the first place. Oh, she rejected him. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay, so she did some kind of space slap. And then for some reason, she decided, okay, we're going to try for a baby anyway. Okay, we have completed the bodybuilder aspiration with Xavier. We're still working on rock climbing, though. We need to pick a different aspiration. And Cassidy is eating for two. We could try the soulmate aspiration. I know it says to go on dates, but what we'll do is we'll just go on dates here at the lot oh these two are not happy with each other so i actually found a radio that kind of looks prehistoric i mean the music it plays of course will not be prehistoric but at least the decorative object looks like it's okay and i actually found a tumblr website that has a whole bunch of links for different prehistoric times CC and other stuff that could be historic like the medieval era, the renaissance era, Victorian, Egypt, all this other cultural stuff 
And so I will include the link to that website in the description below, just in case anybody's interested in this stuff. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that almost all of the CC that I have included in this Let's Play is somewhere on that list. And the way it's organized is just phenomenal. You can click on kids, you can click on beds, uh, I mean, it's just great. So I'm not going to reproduce all that. That was a lot of work for me to put all the CC in my game. So if you're interested, that link will be down below. And thanks to the creator of that site. Go give them some love. Okay, now we have dancing level five. And we can turn this off. Rock climbing is only level two. Rock climbing is going super slow. So we finished fitness, we finished dancing, and then we finished the bodybuilding aspiration, as well as the wild fang renegade aspiration. So the way this is going to work, I finally figured out how I'm going to do it. We're going to go with the females being the matriarchs of the family. And so basically the last name follows them with the exception of two Sims that were put into the game to start out. So basically, Xavier, his last name is Snow, and Cassidy's last name is Snow. And when they have children, their children will have the last name Snow. And this is the family line. And basically what that means is Jared will have the last name Snow, but if he grows up and gets married, his mate will have whatever last name she has and that mate if it is from another family will be a different last name now if it's from someone i have to create in kaz because i can't find a mate for him to have then i'll probably just rename that mate to snow however if it's from a different family in the world and they have other accomplishments, then he will go join their family, basically. And his name will not be renamed, so he will still count as a snow, but his children will have the last name of the female, not his last name. And the reason why I'm doing it that way is because what I'm supposed to do is when a family line ends and there are no more children in that line because everyone died, then I have to basically reset all of the accomplishments of that family. And I haven't had to do that yet because there haven't been any accomplishments to reset. So since there hasn't been any accomplishments to reset, I haven't really worried about it too much. But now that there is, because Xavier was the first to actually complete his werewolf aspiration, now we have to start resetting things. If the snow line dies out. So since that is going to be something that we do from now on, I have to define how I'm determining what line everybody belongs to. Because so far, everyone has just been reset, give a new last name, and don't worry about restarts. Okay, since Xavier is a little bit lonely, we'll ask Cassidy out on a date and just stay here. <laughs> Now, it doesn't matter if we get gold or silver or whatever on this date, because we just have to go on two dates at first. So it doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll just cancel it and get through this as quickly as possible. She said no. She declined his offer to go out on a date. Okay, our relationship is max romantic. How can we be more romantic? Come on, go out on a date. <laughs> okay, I guess we don't get to go out on another date because she's really sad right now. We'll have to do that later. He's going to go hide in a tent after that. Okay, in order to get Cassidy up to the point where she can start completing tasks, I have to turn two more Sims into werewolves which means I have to find two more Sims. And I'm not going to 
cheat at that. I'm basically going to say, all right, we'll find Sims when we find Sims. Because sometimes, even with two werewolves, you will have a child that is not a werewolf because there'll be a dormant wolf. And you can turn that child into a werewolf once they become a teenager. So yeah, while the wild things have the easiest time keeping their pack participation, they won't have the easiest time in completing the aspiration. Why are you being mean? Don't yell at her. Come on, that puts you on pack participation notice. Come on. Oh, self-improvement. Okay, nope. Cassidy is the one that hasn't been doing self-improvement. Read werewolf books. Okay. That might help. Okay, that immediately fixed it when I started reading the werewolf book. Okay, we were able to find another sim because I've been turning the mermaids back into regular human sims because there's no need to have mermaids in this game. Oh no, we're having an earthquake. It's the last day. All right, well, Cassidy is pregnant. The babies have not been born, though. And then we have little Jared, who's a toddler and needs to go to sleep. And then we have Xavier. All right, so it is still winter. Hopefully this is the last roll of the season. I will not be doing rolls at the end of the season anymore. Since we're having so many natural disasters, we're not going to do it. So here we go. And everyone survived, even the pregnancy. That's wonderful. Okay, we got a 79 for the pregnancy, which is a pretty high roll. So I think everyone is going to live this winter. Well, um, with exception of the two infants that we had and the pregnancy that we had. But to be fair, that was a pregnancy that started during winter. So we did lose two pregnancies during the winter, if you count the babies that were born and then lost. So we do have one pregnancy here that is hopefully going to survive, provided we have no more disasters today. We only have one more day. Okay, maybe Cassidy can ask him on a date. That worked. Okay, and again, we don't need this to be a perfect date, but maybe we'll try to apologize. Um, it looks like we don't have the ability to apologize anymore. Maybe if I can do some flirty interactions with Cassidy, we can actually get her to switch over to being flirty or romantic instead of unflirty. Okay, well, he's transforming. That's not a good thing. Okay, that was a gold date. Now we have to be married to our BFF, which means we have to... Oh, come on! <laughs> he keeps on doing stuff like that. Try to calm down. Maybe you have to eat something. These two are really going to be hard to get to be soulmates if they keep on yelling at each other. Okay, hopefully they're becoming best friends now. All right. So we're best friends. Are we married to our best friend now? Yes. Okay, so we have to earn two silver dates with our spouse and achieve soulmate relationship with our spouse. Well, maybe we'll work on that later because Cassidy needs to go to sleep. Oh, it's Jared's birthday. Well, Jared, after we're done with your bubble bath, you will be aging up to a child, which means we can unlock this door. And I'm not going to bother with birthday cakes because we haven't discovered the baking skill yet or actually cooking, but we don't have the ability to have eggs and milk, which means we cannot make a cake or flour even. So we're just going to use cheats to age him up. And we didn't finish our toddler traits, unfortunately, but we were close, so close. Oh, he's going to be erratic. That's not good. Okay, and so for the child aspirations, I'm actually just picking social butterfly because I believe that's the only one that they can actually do. Okay, so Jared can now go in and out of this room, even though I traditionally only allow the mother to come in here, but the babies 
will be in here, the infants will be in here, toddlers, and then children are allowed to go back and forth between both rooms. But once they become a teenager, they're only allowed in here if they're female. And yeah, I know making the females take care of the kids and be the only ones to take care of the kids is kind of questionable in modern times, but this is supposed to be based on prehistoric times. So we are kind of sticking to some of the conventions in prehistoric times and then other conventions we will be breaking. So for example, Cassidy is the alpha. And even though traditionally males are alphas, I had her be the alpha because she needs the survival. So it's more of a matriarchal society in that aspect, but family is the power. So that means that the ones that have the kids and care for the kids, that is actually what is important in these times. The male role is to go out and earn all the skills and hunt for food. And depending on what species you're looking at, sometimes the females are actually the hunters. But in this case, we're having the males be the hunters. Yeah, okay, you can't regain control. So you're going to go down here. All right, you're stuck in there now. And you need to meet five new Sims and probably become, oh, you need to become friends of the pack. He can ask to be friends of the wild things right away because he's actually the son of the pack leader. Okay, this is the last person I need to turn into a werewolf for Cassidy. So now she has completed her aspiration and she is a wild fang renegade. All right, we're probably going to change her to one of the parent aspirations. Okay, so she wants to do the big happy family one. Well, that's the end of the week, and we had no more disasters. I'm assuming we're not going to have any in the next hour and a half. And if we do, I'm going to discount them. So anyway, I think that we've made some really good progress with this family. The only thing is we also need to do the other two werewolf aspirations, which is the one for Christopher's pack and the one for the loners. And we can't complete this series without doing at least one of each, and this family cannot do those. So I think that Xavier is pretty much set because he has so many traits now that help him survive. All of these traits are going to contribute to his score, and I'm allowing him to take his satisfaction points from his aspiration and purchase things that will lower the probability that he will die when he has a disaster happen. Make sure that you join my Discord server. The link will be in the description and in the comments below because I'm going to have some giveaways uh, October 4th through 6th. Um, this is 2024 in case you're listening to this video much later. And if you are part of the Discord server, you will be eligible to participate in those. And I'm also going to be live streaming on those days. So if you can arrive for the live stream once in a while and say hello, please do so. Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.